Howdy, partners, as I doff my non-existent cowboy hat to y'all. And boy, do I need a cowboy hat because I am here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And what am I doing? What am I, the obscurest tourist, doing in Oklahoma City? Well, that's a pretty big question because what am I not doing? The first thing on the agenda today, because if you ever visit Oklahoma City, is to visit the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Because when in Oklahoma City, that's the sort of thing you gotta do. So, without further ado, let's show you around this pretty amazing and gigantic museum. Let's go. you see when you walk up to the entrance of the Cowboy Museum is this right here, an old, well, not that old sculpture of a Native American just hanging out on top of his horse. And it is so hot here in Oklahoma City that even this guy is feeling it. Look at him trying to cool down up there. Whew. Check it out. It's an old stagecoach, because what cowboy museum would be complete without a stagecoach? Pretty cool. From his cold, dead hands, look who it is. It's Charlton Heston. And right over here is the man himself, John Wayne. And look at who it is sitting so regal and divine. It is Abraham Lincoln in front of an American flag, of course. And what cowboy museum would be complete without, of course, a bronze statue of Ronald Reagan. This one was taken captured of him from the movie after the ride. And one of my favorite things here at the museum might just be unbeatable. It is this little, this little guy right here. It is Snow Bunny. A sculpture by Gerald Balsiar. How cute is that? Look at his, look at his little tail. And I know I said the white bunny was my favorite thing here at the museum so far, but check this out. Look at this. How do you beat a bronze statue of a sleeping cat? You can't. And here's a statue of the man for which this wing of the museum is named after. This is Edward L. Gaylord. Hmm. Reading the news of the day. I haven't seen too many rules here for visitors, but here's one of them. Please do not climb on the wagon. Check this guy out. Just lounging around, although he looks to be in a little bit of pain. Oh, his face looks so weird. It's kind of creeping me out. Can't tell if he's a cowboy or prisoner. His, his arms are like, he's in shackles. And he's kind of got this like forlorn look on his face. And he kind of he has, a, he has a look kind of like me, or is my look like him? I don't even know. And we got some 
examples of some old saddles that cowboys would have used back in the day. Some various types. This little one right here. And let's go into the Prosperity Junction livery stable. See what this is all about. Very cool. More wagons. This, oh geez, I thought that was a real horse. Some of the sculptures here are very lifelike. Very cool. What is that, an old oil driller's thingamajig? Look at this, looks like an old Wild West town right here. Very, very impressive. Looks, kind of has a feel that you're outside, even though I'm actually inside. Very cool inside this room. You can hear the blacksmith room. Little anvil right there. You can hear the sounds. Listen real closely. So cool. It feels exactly like I'm in an old West town. Yet, I'm actually inside of a building that's made to look like it's outside. Just look at this. How cool is this? Here on the left, you've got the Silver Dollar Saloon, the Dispatch. And right, check this out. This is where you would have locked your horses up. Locked, tied them up for safekeeping when you went inside of the saloon. Look at this. This is so cool. Who's this guy? Even he's got a cowboy hat. I need me one of those. And what's this? A little silhouette of a cat right up there in the window. And what Wild West town would be complete without, of course, the U.S. Marshal Office. Let's take a little peek inside. Look at this. Oh, and what Marshal is worth his weight in salt than one that doesn't have his colt just sitting there right on the desk, ready to be pulled, ready to defend. Look at this old jail cell. That's super cool, actually. I like that. Some of some of the weapons and tools that a U.S. Marshal would have carried on themselves back in the day. Very cool. Old mercantile. A church, we'll go in there in a second. Look at this old bank. Cattlemen's State Bank. Actually, I ask you to take this short testing calculations. Please come sit at the table in the back room. Oh, I almost forgot. Bookkeeper, You'll right have here. Five minutes. I noticed Mr. Everett's name on the door. Will I be meeting him today too? The bank president is very busy, but let's go into the church. Small. But it served its purpose back in the day. And look at this, this is where the organist would have sat. 
love when you walk up to it, it starts playing. <laughs> kind of, kind of freaked me out there for a sec. And that's where the big man himself would have sat. No, not Santa, the priest. The vicar, or even the pastor. Looks like we've reached the end of this town. Oh, but not before. A little school, a little schoolhouse right here. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Arithmetic, handwriting, homework, and of course, the Pledge of Allegiance. So every time you walk into one of these rooms, it automatically senses your presence. There must be a sensor that I haven't seen somewhere around here, but it automatically starts playing sounds and music, sound effects, to bring you right back to the Wild West. And here's the room, or rooms, we've all been waiting to see it, is dedicated to the American Cowboy. Check this out, the tools of the trade back in the day. Some spurs. And who's this guy over here? What? Now that is an outfit. Check that out. Even the lights here are insane, made out of antlers. Look at that. I wonder what's bothering this guy. Everyone seemed so pained back in the day. And check it out. It's a buckaroo. Some examples of the clothing worn by cowboys back in the day. And whoa, I'm pretty sure that I might wear those, but I can 100% guarantee that I would definitely wear those. Lighthearted performance with my star of the B Western sidekick, Smiley Burnett. It's crazy how big this museum is. Every time I think I've seen the last of it, more comes around the corner. And look at this, now we are in the American rodeo room. Look at this. And I have a feeling that I wouldn't be allowed at a rodeo because I don't have two out of those three things and I'll let you guess which two those are. Let's have a little walk around this little exhibit. Love it. I have never actually been to a rodeo and I wonder, I wonder if I'll be able to while I'm here. This is so cool. Look at that. That's where the announcer would sit right up there given the play-by-play. -play. Once again, reiterating that a guy like me wouldn't have been permitted into the arena to watch a good old-fashioned rodeo. Not just solely the men who had all the fun or the danger. Look at this. Look at that outfit.
and check it out. Look at this. It's a Texas Longhorn. Man, this thing is so lifelike. I have to say that all of the statues and sculptures here are just ridiculous. Look at that. Check this out. Outside of the museum, out back, is a whole other area for you to explore. Look at this. This museum is super impressive. They went all out here. Look at this. Some buttes. And I hear that there are some famous graves outside here. Not of people, but of rodeo animals. So let's see if we can find that. I absolutely love how immersive this entire museum is from top to bottom. Look at this. Can we go in here? Oh, I see a warning. It's warning me to watch my head, so yeah, let's check it out. Ooh, uh, not really much to see. Look at this. Hi. I have to admit, I am absolutely boiling out of my own skin here. A few people warned me that Oklahoma this time of year is hot. And I was like, yeah, Toronto's hot this time of year. But boy, what a surprise I was into because Maybe I'm just not acclimatized yet. This might be the first real hotness I've felt in quite a long time, but this is almost unbearable. So I'm trying to get through it. Everything's heating. I'm heating up. My phone is heating up. My camera's heating up. Everything's heating up. How do I make it stop? And this looks to be the first grave of rodeo animal and this is a horse a hoss a bucking hoss a great bucking hoss named midnight and his coat was as black as coal 1907 to 1936 buried right here and here is another grave site to the site of the great tornado a horse that weighed 1,500 pounds and was red with a white face. A crossbreed bull. Wow. And check out this little cutie pie over here. It's Baby Doll Combs. Born in 1947, died in 1960. So cute. Rest in peace, baby doll. A few more graves out back here. This one dedicated to the great steamboat. 1897 to 1914. And just on the other side here is great pal, great cow pony, Baldy. 1940. Active in 1940, really but born in 1932 and died in 1961. And just on this side is another one, great bucking horse, Hell's Angels, because let's get real, what else would you name a great bucking horse but Hell's Angels? 1927 to 1942. And right down there is Interstate 44, the old I-44. And if you look up to your left, if you're traveling eastbound, you will see this ginormous statue of a bucking horse and a cowboy. And you know who this is? It is none other than Buffalo Bill. Yeah.
the gardens right on site, but outside of the actual interior of the museum here are absolutely gorgeous. Just look at this. Lily pads, lily pads. Can't go wrong with lily pads. Keep off rocks, but yeah, you gotta protect what's in the water. Look at this guy. Giant, is that koi? Big boys. What a spot to live your life. I know being a cowboy wasn't probably, probably wasn't a lot of fun, but having a look at this statue right here has me thinking otherwise. Look at these guys, the big smiles, the revelry. I want to be a cowboy. I really, really hope that you enjoyed my visit to the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum right here in Oklahoma City because I feel a little worn out. I've, I've been here for a few hours now and I feel like I haven't even seen everything, but my phone is dying and my camera is dying. Everything is happening all at once, so I must go. Until our next adventure, stay beautiful. And I'll see you next time. See you later.